Hi, I'm John Volker, Senior Editor at High Gear Media. One of the questions we get asked about electric cars is, is it really going to save me money? There's a lot of data out there that says that a car like the Volt or another electric car like the Leaf initially is bought by early adopters, people who want the latest electronic gadget. This is kind of a car gadget, right? But in the end, most people who buy cars buy green cars or buy fuel-efficient cars because they save them money. Will the Volt save me money? Well, this is a $41,000 four-seat compact car, and it's going to take a lot of savings on fuel to make back that. So the answer is, in 2011, there's probably not a payback on the Volt strictly on operating costs. That's not why early adopters buy them. They want to make a statement about the car. They want to have the latest, coolest automobile. A lot of reasons why all of the early Volts will get sold just fine. And in fact, GM is coping right now with trying to increase production because demand has been much higher than they thought. But the thing to remember is about electric cars, as the price comes down per mile, electric cars are already much, much cheaper. Here's how the math works. Let's take a 25 mile a gallon car as sort of our baseline. If gasoline is $4 a gallon, what that means is it's four gallons to run 100 miles, so that's 16 bucks to run 100 miles. Now, let's say we charge up the Volt and it takes 40 kilowatt hours to run that same 100 miles. Depending on where you live, a kilowatt hour can cost anything from three cents to 16 cents. Let's take 10 cents, it makes the math easy, right? You need 40 kilowatt hours at 10 cents a piece, that's four bucks. In other words, electric cars are already way, way cheaper to run per mile. The problem, of course, is the purchase cost. This is a $41,000 compact car. The Chevy Cruze, which is a conventional gasoline engine compact car, starts around sixteen dollars or $17,000. That's an enormous difference that you're not going to make up unless you drive hundreds and hundreds of thousands of miles. But it is important to remember those costs will come down over the next 10 years. You may not buy an electric car today, or even for your next car, but by 2020, they'll be much more price competitive with gasoline cars. And the other thing is, what's going to happen to the price of gasoline? Think about that.